Recently, there were many individual honors handed out to some of the top UNI wrestlers and men's basketball players. While these guys care more about team success than individual honors, it's nice to take a moment to look at some of the big contributors this past season. Here's Brad Wells to break down the men's basketball and wrestling individual awards. One common thread connecting nearly all of the UNI men's basketball players and Panther wrestlers that received postseason recognition is youth. Out of the five wrestlers that qualified for the NCAA championships, three of them are underclassmen. And three of the four men's basketball players to be honored by the Missouri Valley Conference were either freshmen or sophomores. On the hardwood, true freshman forward Seth Tuttle brought home the Panthers' highest honor, being named the league's Freshman of the Year, as well as being named to the All-Freshman and All-Newcomer teams. Tuttle becomes only the second Panther to be named Freshman of the Year. He became the first freshman in the history of the league to lead the MVC in field goal percentage, knocking down 65.8% of his shots. Another true freshman, Dion Mitchell, was named to the all-freshman team for UNI after averaging seven points and seeing action in all 32 games, starting 22 of them. Panther spark plug Chip Rank was named to the Missouri Valley Conference's all-bench team. The sophomore forward averaged 6.2 points and three rebounds per game, playing in all 32 contests this season. Junior guard Anthony James earned honorable mention all-conference status for the second straight season. A.J. led the Panthers in scoring and reached double figures in 21 games, including five contests of 20 points or more. On the mat, Joe Colon was named the NCAA West Regional's Most Outstanding Wrestler after taking the 133-pound title with a day that included two bonus point victories. The sophomore will make his first trip to the Division I NCAA Championships, riding an 18-match winning streak. Levi Wolfensberger was the tournament's big surprise as he claimed the 141-pound title as the number four seed. The freshman earned the distinction as the wrestler with the most pins in the tournament as he qualified for his first NCAA championship. Panther heavyweight Blaine Beal was the third UNI Panther to take first place in his weight class with a clean sweep of all conference opponents during the year. Beal hopes to carry this dominance into his first NCAA championship appearance. At 157 pounds, David Bonet suffered his first loss in his last 13 matches at the regional. But fortunately, it was after he had secured a second place finish that was good enough to send him to the NCAA championships for the second time in his career. Sophomore Ryan Loader took runner-up honors at 184 pounds after a 5-4 loss to the nation's top-ranked wrestler, Joe LeBlanc. Loader collected a 10-1 major decision in the first round and an impressive 16-0 tech fall in the semifinals to earn his second trip to the NCAA Championships. The NCAA Wrestling Championships will take place March 14th through the 13th at the Scott Trade Center in St. Louis, while the UNI men's basketball team waits to find out who they will play in their postseason tournament. Regardless of what happens in the postseason, these student-athletes deserve the recognition they received for their performances this year. Panther Sports Talk would like to congratulate each student-athlete for representing the University of Northern Iowa with pride.